In today's video, we're opening every version of Metal Raiders ever made. And you might not have heard of some. Metal Raiders is the second set ever released to the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. It contains iconic monsters such as Petite Moth, Harpy Lady Sisters, Karibo, Beast Skull Dragon, Summon Skull, Gate Guardian, and many more. This set recently was reprinted for Yu-Gi-Oh!'s 25th anniversary, so everyone could enjoy the nostalgia of opening cards from 2002. But did you know that Konami has reprinted Metal Raiders before? And not just once. This set actually has at least nine different prints over the years. In today's video, I will be taking you through the history of these printings, the differences, and of course, opening them. What's up guys, we're back with another opening every version video. We've done this once before with Legend of Blue Eyes. If you guys missed that, go check that video out it's a pretty fun video opening all nine versions technically there was only seven in that one but this time i've actually acquired all nine of them so you might be looking in front of you and be like that's nine versions is there really nine metal writers yeah there's not like three or four like a lot of you guys thought and said in the lob comments there's actually nine different versions so we are going to be going through them one at a time and we will also be opening some extra 25th anniversary packs so that we have a few packs to open. It's going to be all Metal Raiders today. So if you're a Metal Raiders fan like me, you're going to love it. Let's get to the giveaway. I'll be giving away these five Metal Raiders cards, 25th anniversary. We got some OG print, uh, Crowd Pull, we got Garnesia, and then an original Mirror Force. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Did you know about all nine prints of these Metal Raiders? And also, what's your favorite card from Metal Raiders? All right, we are going to start with Metal Raiders 25th anniversary, which just came out this year, the last and most recent printing. I mean, not last of all time. They'll, they'll definitely do it again. Let's be honest let's open it up this is really okay i'm gonna do a little comparison compared to the, the one before that so 20 25th anniversary has that logo here's the 2017 so uh this is the most recent print before 25th anniversary these are very similar as you can tell though i mean there's a little bit of a different look to them the metal raiders looks a little bit different same logo though same english edition stamp it's just missing that all you need to know is 25th anniversary it's going to be the easiest one to tell because it has that giant logo right there Okay, let's see if we can get anything crazy in today's video. We do have a first edition pack because that's one of the, that's literally the first ever printing. So could be some good stuff. We have a dream clown. Let's see what we can get. Gazelle, Larva Moth, the cousin. Mushroom Man number two. Watch out. We've got the protector of the throne. Water Amotics. Crass Clown. Dark Elf. We got to pay a thousand to attack. And a Battle Steer. Starting it off with nothing. Will we get some crazy pulls in today's video? The Legend of Blue Eyes, we actually had really good luck. Let's see if we can do that again. Before we move on, we are going to open another 25th anniversary. We will have a few of those sprinkled throughout. So let's see if we can get some good stuff. Battle Steer again. Okay, the Cousin Moth again. Interesting. Blast Juggler. Rock Ogre Grotto number one. Genzo numero seven. Numero siete, you could say. Harpy Lady. Very cool. Cross Clown. Modest Radiant. And Ryukishin Power. So we are starting it off. Over. All right, let's do our next print, which is 2017, which the way you tell the difference, I got all three of these this time and the LOB one, I didn't have all the different ones. This is a 2013 pack right here, which has no date except for the at 1996 Kazuki Takahashi. That's 2013 if it does that. 2014 will have a second date at 2014. So pretty obvious, uh, you know, that one right there. So that's one a year later. And then we have 2017, which is the most recent that will say 2017 down there. So that's the only difference basically from these three. You can look at them. They're very, very similar. Uh, a lot of people were getting on to me about the logos last time or something. I, I wasn't necessarily noting every difference, uh, but the, the easy ones to make, you'd be able to tell the differences is what I was kind of doing last time. So I'll try to see if there's anything different, but the Metal Raiders might be a little darker right there. But overall, these are very, very similar packs besides the dates. And really, all you need to know is the date and you know which one it is. 2017. Let's go. This is the right one, right? No one opened the wrong one too early. 2017 used to be the most recent print. And then we had the reprints this year all right we have king of yamukai and as you can see in 2017 versus 2023 they changed up to the new style of card so this is the last time that metal raiders was printed with old style cards even if it is a lot different and lighter and stuff but cool stuff we have gazelle armor lizard the immortal of thunder labyrinth tank a rainbow flower ancient lizard warrior we have Mask of Darkness and we have a Karibo giving one away and we pulled one today. Let's go. Super rare Karibo, our first foil of the day. Such an iconic holo card. Very nice. I do wonder if 2017 will get more valuable over the years because it is the last printing of like the old style card because these 20... 5th anniversaries will probably be the new way that they do it. They'll probably always reprint them in the new style card. So it could be interesting to see what happens with the value of those. All right, let's do another 25th anniversary to get some more good pulls as we are going through these Metal Raiders packs. It's a very fun video to open up all these different versions. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys are enjoying it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, we will probably be doing this with Magic Slash Spell Ruler next if we can get all the packs together. Mass Sorcerer, there might be more of those because like the spell and the magic thing. Uh, and a Sangha of the Thunder. All right, another foil. There's a super rare Sangha of the Thunder. Making that gay guardian. Maybe we'll pull it out of the first dead pack. Now we have the 2014 pack. I've already kind of denoted the difference here of the 2014, 2013. 2013 might actually be a little bit bigger now that I look at it. You guys look at these side by side and the crimps are a little different. Maybe actually 2013, I think I just noticed a difference. This is, I actually hate this about these new ones. They have the little jagged edges. And the reason I hate that is because whenever I make thumbnails and I need to remove the backgrounds, it makes, it, it's so hard to remove the background and let, without just cutting that part off. It's a YouTube problem. It's not a big deal, but this one seems to have the flat crimp on the edge. If you see what I'm saying. So if you look at these, we got jagged crimp and then we got flat crimp. I think that might be the major difference. It's a little bit longer, probably because of the flat crimp. So that's an interesting one that I didn't know before. This one is the 2014. All you need to know is the date. You don't need to know anything else about the crimps. That's just for a little extra info. It's for this is what it is on 2017. I don't know what if it is on 2014. Let's try it with Crawling Dragon. As you can see, the cards are very, very similar. Let's see if I can get one of the cards out. Just look right here. The cards are similar, maybe a little darker on 2014. Slightly, slightly darker, but not a lot of difference there. Okay, let's see what we can get. We have the Immortal of Thunder. Maybe we can get a foil here. Occubeam. They feel a little different, though. I will say that. They feel a little bit older, actually. They, like, slide a lot better. Not as much friction. That seems to happen with newer cards. Share the Pain. We have Leo Gun. We have Feral Imp. Robin Goblin. That that definitely looks older. And then we have a Yadakaru. So nothing there. 2014 pack, but uh, no foil this time. All right, good stuff. Let's see what we can get this time. Here we go. It's 25th anniversary again, right before we do the 2013 pack. We have Seven Colored Fish, Tain of Wisdom, Musician King of Tremendous Fire, Big Eye, Cocoon of Evolution. Where's the Pequeno? Robin Goblin again, back to back. And the Dream Clown, the Clown be dreaming. Okay, not that crazy. All right, now 2013 versus 2010. So this is a Legendary Collection Binder Edition. This is the first ever Legendary Collection Game Board is where these 2013s came from. So these are about three years apart. Pretty big difference because the 2010s tend to have like this kind of, yeah, like this rippling across the... Uh, across the, the card. Here's the logo that I missed last time that everybody was so angry about. Here it is. So the original Yu-Gi-Oh logo right here, and here's the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game logo. So it seems like it changed between 2010 and 2013. So I'll mention that for all you guys who are upset about that. I will get that in this video. I won't mess it up this time. The main difference though is this, this giant red logo right here, red logo. And then we've got the new one, the outlined Konami in white. So that's a huge difference there. It also has the no date except for the 1996 down there. Six plus years, I think changes at some point. I think it might be the next one. So still says six plus years here. So that giant logo, the red banner, that's how you tell the differences here. Okay, let's see what these cards are looking like in 2013. I don't know the last time I opened a 2013 pack. These are actually pretty hard to find because 2014 and 2017, you know, there's so many of them. A lot of these 2013s got opened up between now and then. Okay, what? Okay, I spoiled it, but for you guys, I'm not going to show what that was. Okay, I put it to the back, so we're going to redo it. I do know what the card is, obviously, but I uh, screwed up a little bit. So different pack trick on 2013. So if you're wondering, it looks like there's one less card. Pale Beast Rux in 34. Very nice to see that. Rabbit Horseman. Elegant Egotist. So there's a rare. I. Okay, so the rare is there, and then... I'm really confused how this worked. The rare is like two away from... I don't know. I don't know what happened. Tongyo. And here's the card that I have seen already, and it is a foil. The seven tools of the bandit that I accidentally super, what do we call that? Ultra Ruxin special did when you put it right to the front. Not great. All right, I had to grab more sleeves, but this definitely looks different. This uh, 2013 foil. Let's see, what did we pull earlier? A Karibo? Let's check the differences here. So we have a Super and the Ultra. Looks like just a little bit darker on this 2013. It's not a major difference, but it does look a little dark. Does the card look smaller? Wait a second. Okay, let me try and line these up. Maybe it's the borders that make it look smaller. I feel like the borders might be a little, maybe it's just the centering there. It just makes it look different. But for some reason, I don't know. It looks smaller for a second. Seven tools of the bandit. Not, I mean, not a crazy ultra, but if we pull that in first ad, I wouldn't be mad either. And shout out to Gezi TCG who actually sold me that 2013 pack. He had those because he's a weirdo and he's, he's like collects all these random variants. So it was perfect for me. So shout out to Gezi. Once again, he helped us out with the LOB video. He really helped me out with picking up that pack, a 2013 pack, because he's the only one that cares about the differences. I'm hoping that now that I've showed it to other people, Maybe other people think it's cool as well. Let's open another 25th anniversary. We still have five more prints after this. We're only four in. We haven't actually gotten to any like super crazy ones yet, but those they're small variants that are fun to look at. Dragon Piper, we got the Black on Fire. 
Morton Finn Saga, the Dark Clown. Mushroom Man number two. Watch out for him. We have the soul release. Gain your moth. First of the day, baby. Let's go. Mask of Darkness. And we have the Destroyer Golem. Watch out for that Rocky Punch. Okay, now we are up to 2010 versus 2004, actually. So the logo is actually a little different here as well. It's like darker here and lighter in the old one, which is interesting. Both have the red Konami uh, stuff going on. So not a lot of differences there. Here's the difference between these two. The nine cards per pack is right there above that date. So a lot of info can be like deemed from this little spot right here there's also six plus years and no six plus years here in the 2004 version this 2004 version came out of forbidden legacy which is that blister pack i'll pop it up on the screen that contained lob mrd and srl and then the promo pack that have blue eyes dark magician or karibo and secret rare so that's where i got that from i actually bought a forbidden legacy just for these special videos i've been using one pack from each as we go through let's open this 2010 pack and see what we can get this is the legendary collection binder edition from 2010 the beginning of the legendary collections if you don't count the master collection which we did open as well the other day go check out master collection if you haven't seen it that was a fun opening right here okay once i'm gonna do three now because i don't want to ruin it i don't really know what the pack trick is rabbit horseman very cool can we get something crazy no secrets yet we do have an ultra worst one in the set but it's go. we have more infant these are actually looking a lot more like 2017 which is surprising actually uh empress judge that one looks a little darker we have mega thunderball oh and an ultra barrel dragon pale beast rux and 34 so it was the actual pack trick maybe i messed it up in the last one pale beast rux and 34 we have the barrel dragon ultra rare that's a really good one very nice let's compare this to another foil we pulled okay so compared to the seven tools these look very similar very very similar and then you throw the karibo it doesn't look anything like the karibo so 2017 is kind of a significant difference in terms of foil look these look a lot more like the originals. All right, so Barrel Dragon out of the 2010 pack. I'm actually surprised at how different those cards look than I was expecting. I used to think that 2010 looked like originals in terms of commons, and these look a lot more like 2017 cards. So that's actually something I did not know. All right, four packs left. Let's open one more 25th anniversary before we get into the actually like super old ones. Here we go. We have Armored Lizard. We've had good luck so far. Two Ultras is not bad. Thunder Dragon and Barrel Dragon is a great one. Castle of Dark Illusions, Water Robotics with the shirt on, Unhappy Maiden, Dark Elf, and and the bakery bakery box 2004 versus 2003 so forbidden legacy versus the 10 packs so what i mean by the 10 packs is t-i-n not t-e-n these were inside the 2003 10s so uh the u.s and canada english edition are the 10 packs so other than that very very similar the logo a little bit different on the Yu -Gi Oh logo so that one changes through basically every print which is surprising Still red banner, but there is that difference right there. Still says nine cards per pack. It looks like it's a little bit different on the 1996 Kazuki Takahashi versus here. It's a little bit more hard to see there. I guess it's more outlined or something. I don't know. Maybe just the way the pack's bent, but you're really looking at this part right here. This is the main difference. And then a little bit on the logo, a little bit of a like a black outline on that one versus here. So we're going to go ahead and open the Forbidden, Le Forbidden Legacy pack. Inside the Forbidden Legacy pack is the EN cards. So they have these in the 25th anniversary and they also have them here, but these are obviously the old style card because they're from 2004. Come on, baby. One, two, three. I feel like it's three on this one, but I, it might be more. Jurai Gumo, EN cards. Let's see if we can get a secret rare. I have pulled a gate garden out of the EN pack before, so let's do that again. Fire Dragon. I just called it Fire Dragon. <laughs> Prevent Rat. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one. These definitely feel old compared to the other ones. Uh, Ground Attacker, Bugroth, not Bergoth. Bickery Bickery Box. Is that it again? King of Young Makai. It could be here if it's in front. Oh, that might be the card. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's do this. Pale, Pale Beast Rux and 34 is bringing us some luck. I think it's the next one because there's no rare in this pack, it seems like. And well, this list will be the rare or the hollow. Oh, the Time Wizard! Ultra Rare! MRD-EN Time Wizard! And what do I mean by EN? You guys can check this out right here. MRD-EN065 versus MRD-126. So there's no EN in front of the number. That is a sick Ultra. Centering is not so good, but that is a very, very nice Ultra Rare. That is beautiful. Whoa! We have three ultra rares right now. And the crazy part is the three ultras are all like the packs we're actually trying to open. They're not like the extra 25th packs. We haven't pulled an ultra out of those. All right, three more packs. Let's do Metal Raiders real quick. This has been a heck of an open, or 25th anniversary. I guess it's all Metal Raiders, but 
been a heck of an opening so far. Paralyzing Potion, Ancient Health. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. If you're interested, you know, maybe you know a friend that might want to see the video. Maybe send it out to him, you know? Maybe send him a little, hey, check out Ruxin's video, you know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Two more. Enough of that shilling. Let's see. We have the 2003 pack with the, uh, the Konami and then the US and Canada. Now it gets really obvious. The old, old Konami logo. We're at Unlimited. This came out of a blister that I bought. Uh, so we're talking like old school logo from 2002. And then uh, we can look at other stuff like, you know, the logo is a little different as always. A little bit of a darker overall look to the pack as well. But the main thing, you just need to see that. You need to see it's not first edition. You know it's original 2002 Unlimited. Okay, so let's do the uh, the Canada, US and Canada 10 pack first. 2003 pack. I've had pretty good luck with 2003 packs in the past. Not necessarily Metal Rays, just in general. 2003 Unlimited side of 10s. But we didn't have such good, lu good luck when we opened every 2003 10, did we? That was a pretty rough one. I think it's probably four. Yeah, it's four because there's no rare. Yeah, that's right. Insect Soldiers of the Sky. There's something on there. Okay, came off. Hunter Spider, watch out. I haven't seen that guy all day. Aki Beam, no Pecanio Moth except that one out of a 25th pack. Ocean Snake, got Mornfin. Stim Pack, watch out. Oh, and I called him. I summoned the Legendary Moth. There we go. We got the Armored Lazard. Can we get a foil? Is it? No, it might be next. Wait. Oh, it's next. This could be it. Oh, the Witch of the Black Forest. Centering, baby. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. It is way off centered. All right. There's a rare. Very cool looking cards. You can't get an ultra every pack, unfortunately. All right. We're down to the last two packs. So we're going to open a couple more 25th as we go to see if we can maybe get some luck on the 25th because this hadn't been so good for the 25th anniversary. It's been pretty bad. Like, oh, and they actually have a little bit better ratios. Pill Beast, you have the Armored Zombie with that big defense. Oh, Gucci. Hoshingen. And. Rabbit Horse. Man, these have been rough. <laughs> Fortunately, the originals have been good. Okay, now the differences between First Ed and, and uh, Unlimited. I mean, it looks like logo, a little bit different again. First Edition, obviously, that's kind of the big one. Everything else, very, very similar. I mean, maybe a little shading differences here and there, but overall, very close. As long, if it doesn't say First Ed, which on Metal Raiders, it is not easy to see that First Edition. It's a black on a gray, and there's no, like, outline or anything. So very difficult to see that, but it's pretty obvious it's not there. So here we go. Unlimited. Out of a blister. Can we get some luck? Technically, the first ad's out of a blister, too. So I guess we wouldn't be able to get Gate Guardian like I was thinking earlier. Now that I'm remembering that I, that came out of a blister pack. One, two. Both of these did. So we're looking at 1,000 Dragon Potential, which I would be totally okay with. We have Swamp Battleground. Tremendous Fire. Trent, the uh, Int from Fangorn. Yeah, somebody in the comments reminded me, and I finally remembered. Punished Eagle. Baby Dragon. Pretty valuable card in first ad in PSA 10. Launcher Spider. Deep Sea Shark. Sword of Deep Seated. Wow, is it the next one? This might be a foil. Will it be something big? Here we go. Fake Trap. No, go on. That is rough. Fake Trap. Ouch. Okay, one more pack. Metal Raiders, 25th anniversary. And then we go into that first edition pack and finish it off. It's been a very fun opening today. We've had great luck, honestly, even if we get nothing out of the first dead. But obviously the first dead can be a big time pull. Launcher Spider. Let's see if we can just get something here. Why not? Garnesia Elephantis is something. It is, in fact, something. Super rare Garnesia. We'll take it. That is not too bad. Now we are finishing off with the legendary, my favorite set, by the way, Metal Raiders first edition pack. Inside, we could pull a lot of amazing cards. No Gate Guardian because it's a blister pack, but even without that, there's a ton of awesome stuff. All right, guys, final pack. Let's do this. We've had last first dead pack I opened, I pulled a Magic Jammer, which was pretty sick. If we pull another Ultra, I would even take the seven tools. But if we can pull something huge, like a Summon Skull, I mean, I would lose it. Let's see if we can do it. We have the Hibikime. Very nice. First edition. If we can get the Moth as well, I would be happy. Kaminari Attack. We have Gigatech Wolf. Sagi, the Dark Clown. That's a pretty nice one. I'm definitely going to look into grading some of these Metal Raiders commons. I have a lot of commons I need to actually look at grading. Cybersaurus. The Pale Beast Rux of 34. It's a good pack so far. Sagi and Pale Beast. The Jellyfish. Okay, that's six cards, I think. So we have one more. Oh, Gucci, a oh, classic. Okay, final card, guys. We need a little bit of luck. Send it in the comments. If you guys have enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see like the Spell Ruler version, the Pharaoh Servant version. That, that's going to be hard because there's no Forbidden Legacy there. Okay, oh, Gucci. One more card. Oh, Magician of Faith. That's actually a great rare, and the centering's pretty good. That, in a PSA 10, actually can pay for the entire pack, and it looks like that one might be able to do it. So, honestly... 
Not a terrible way to end it with three ultra rares, a potentially gradable magician of faith, and honestly, some good commons in that pack. So not a bad way to end it. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto, Deanna, America Deutster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, Leo Gwine 62, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.